Welcome to the bad boy pod, talking bad boy bars, make a good girl nuts with the bad boy swag. Having conversations that a bad boy mad, sit down, relax, kick back, have a blast, enjoy the bad boy pod, brought to you by Lady Pod. We both have a couch, ouch, my name is Zoe Clark. Oh, oh my god, sorry. Do you want me to move this? I no, can't. I like my foot under it. Okay, sicko. Let me nuzzle my foot under nuzzle the Nuzzle your foot, you fucking freak. I'll take I a know. picture of that, hold on. Of my nuzzle? Yeah, actually, this whole vibe. Wow. I'm a little bit man I don't know why, but you look a little like aunt. Right oh, now? do I look like Donnie's? Aunt? It's because like I'm wearing like somewhat baggy. Yeah. Oh wow, very aunt. Baggy jeans, I like no baggy black hoodie. You know, got to get a little naughty oddy on a Sunday. It's a bit of a like Eminem vibe for some reason. Stop, really? Yeah, the the one man you want to fuck. Yeah, he's it. Sorry, I said it like that. He's it. He's it. Um, he's like fully in my TikTok algorithm now. They know. Hmm. Interesting. They know I'm interested. I wonder yeah. what he's doing right now. Probably eating. Probably, probably eating. Time. Probably eating with Haley Jade. Oh, mm-hmm. are they friends? No, but she has a podcast. I think. Should Didn't we, we talk about it? it? Should we have her on the pod? Haley, I know you're that? listening, and <laughs> there's nothing I want more than to have you on the pod. And we won't Please. even talk about how I want to fuck your dad. No. Hopefully not. She's probably done hearing about her dad. I think so. She's probably like, maybe she literally tells people don't. don't She's ask probably about my the one person who feels like it's good he's no longer on drugs. Hmm. Because a lot of people are like, he was better. He was a better rapper when he was on drugs. And she's like, you know what? I kind of like him better on, <laughs> better, better on sober. life. <laughs> yeah. Um, my name is Haley Jade, and I prefer a sober dad. Listen, and I'm not going to say anything she's about so that. She's so alternative for great. that. Is she? What 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 does she do now? Sorry, she I say like that, but like, look, I don't know exactly I don't know what, know she, what does. she does. I know How she has a podcast. Like Twenty four, yeah, something like that. Jesus Christ, I know. I mean, you want to feel old? Haley Jade is twenty four. What if Haley oh, Jade she is. dated? What is she married to someone? Haley Jade age. Oh my lord, but Jesus, what? she's twenty eight. Oh my god! I was gonna, well, I was going to say maybe she could date There's Leo, no but way. no, she's twenty eight. Way too old for Leo. Wow. Yeah, she was born in ninety five. Wow. She's a practicing Christian. <laughs> no, so true. She has a boyfriend. Her his name is Evan McClintock. Um. Yeah, she started a podcast called Just a Little Shady. Oh, no. Okay. And you want people to stop talking about your dad? Do you think she remember did that? He, Jesus, didn't he just like? sue somebody for using the word shady in their podcast email diane yeah i think you told us that actually that was Um, your information it was Haley. uh for her show she also launched a separate instagram and youtube channel in addition she works as a model and closely with many fashion companies on social media same honestly and her net worth between two and three million do you think she's a wealthy girl probably not no way, no. No fucking way. No fucking way. The Haley problem Jane? with Ron uh-uh. sanctimonious is that he needs a personality <laughs> transplant, and those, those are, are not yet available. Not yet available. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I would like him not to be the president, but to remain in public, in the public sphere, to say ridiculous things like that. <sighs> it's so hard. It's hard. It's a real catch twenty two. It's so hard because he's an active with him monster. In the midst. He's an active monster out there saying hilarious things. I hate it. I hate it. You know. Um, so my name is Ronda St. Demonius and I need a personality transplant. Those are not yet available. Um, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. So we're getting beautiful. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Um, At the end. anything else to add on the testicle about Haley Jade, Eminem? Oh, wow. Yeah. We just test this episode by purely talking about Haley Jade. Well, oh, here comes friend to start the app. The best wow. pods do start with a quick little Eminem talk. It's and true. his daughter is, you know, tied up in that as what well. What if I named you Haley Jade Francis? Haley Jade Francis. <laughs> Haley Jade Francis. Would you be happy or or pissed? He'd be happy. Yeah, he likes extra names. I think. Oh, has he turned on you or what? No, he's licking me. Okay. I don't love that. I don't like when cats lick. I'm like, where are you getting off on this? He like, doesn't like the same thing. I, mean, I think it's a. It, I think it's like a. What's it when they're marking? trying to? Not marking. The a, a bit aggressive. Aggressive. Like they're trying to. Fuck with me. Be alpha or whatever. Fran, Come licking on. is not alpha. It's not alpha. It's deeply beta. Come on, get with um, it. Yeah, I don't like when cats lick me. It makes me feel uncomfortable. It's not even their tongue texture. I just am like, what's 
the point. Like with dogs, it's just this is affection. This is cute. We love it. With cats, it's like, what does it mean? You know, is it aggression? Is it love? I thought it was. I really thought it was like a way of being like, I'm top dog, even though they're cats. uh Mm Uh-oh. They're top cat. They're top ramen. I'm top cat. Um... Anyway, my name is Diane. Let's see how this testicle is. Beautiful, sorry. We had a testicle. We had a brief Fran interference situation, um, but I think we're fine now. Yeah. I mean, I hope he doesn't start humping that, but we'll he see. He wasn't humping it. He was oh, more no, no, so. No. I mean, that's a different kind of. I mean, oh. He has like, he likes to hump some things. Some things he just likes to absolutely scratch. Some things he likes to burrow. He my was name is gnawing Francis on the other blanket. That was weird. I it mean, was a bit of a gnaw. I don't think I'd want to see that puke after. Oh, no. It would definitely be chartreuse <laughs> color and fuzzy. And chartreuse fuzzy puke? Mohair? It's no, my please. middle name. Don't do that. Chartreuse fuzzy mohair puke? That's Diane's middle name. Absolutely. Um, she used to actually, her last name used to be mohair. My name is Julia Davidovich, and oh. my middle name? Hmm? Hot, pink, fuzzy, hmm? wool, noodle. Noodle. Oh my god. Hot pink fuzzy wool noodle. And my name is Zoe Clara. And when I go to bed, I have oh. one blanket. Yep. I have one comforter. Yeah. That's true. It. That's, that's actually fucking, true. That's I have a sheet, I have a down comforter, and then I have a blankie that I cuddle with like I'm a little baby. Oh like what I t- wait, what color is it? Is hug it, it is it it's is that Sully blanky, the green s- one? No, speaking of our bad boy this week, oh. it's like a Walt Disney blanket. Oh, it's, that one. Yeah. Okay. She's fun to just hug. Comfort blankie. I mean, if I had a stuffed animal, I would absolutely use it instead, but okay. all I any, have just is Any arbitrary blankie. stuffed animal doesn't matter from any franchise? Any franchise. Lilo and Stitch. It could just be from the dollar store, like some fucking like apple with a worm coming out of it. It could be an apple with a worm coming out of it. It could be off-brand Mickey Mouse. That's called like Mocky Mocky Moose. Mocky Moose. Mocky Moose. Um, Anything. Okay. Well, that's an interesting uh, tidbit into Zoe's life. She'll cuddle with any old... uh, Any old fuzzy. What if it smells like shit? Then I would probably not. There's That's where she draws the line. I can be like... It can be a shitty one that's like broken, but Mm -hmm. it can't smell like shit. Not on my watch. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I don't like things that smell like shit. My name is not Diane. (laughs) Um, Who's your bad boy on the block this week? (sighs) Uh, I don't know if you noticed him coming in because you came in through the side. Uh-oh. Well, do you call it the side or the back? Don't kill me. I would me. say back. Uh, okay. Because some people call it the side and I'm like, I'm confused. But also, I see what you're saying. But you call that door your back door. I call it the back door. It's the side of the unit, but it's the back of your apartment. Also, don't kill me. But yes. Also, don't is. kill me. But like, this is so vague. Mm-hmm. You know? Honestly, kill me if you want. Yeah, and well, like no. if if a, if a listener of the pod kills you, first of all, then you've really made it. Not to be selfish, guaranteed documentary, and I'm the star. <laughs> <laughs> not to be selfish. <laughs> That's really funny. So, um, go ahead, kill her. I'll be the star of the documentary. Everyone's gonna love me. Gypsy Rosify me. They'll be like, I never saw this coming. I never thought giving away where her doors were would actually lead to her murder. I never thought saying like it's the side of the complex, but the back of her apartment would lead to her murder. But here we are. And I'm so happy to meet you. And then Zoe almost gets 12 years. Joy Behar or whatever. (laughs) Yeah, it would probably be her. And I would be dead in the ground. (laughs) You'd be dead in the ground and I would cry about it on TV and smile about it. Just to know that you would cry about it is enough for me, baby. I think I would cry. Mm-hmm. So I would. I would cry. Wow. Do, what would you want done with your social media when you die? <laughs> My name is a perfect question. <laughs> wow. Shit. I never thought about that. It's like, what do people do? They turn it into like a in memoriam, right? Well, do you like want? A... Do you want someone to post from the account like Julia's dead? <laughs> <laughs> okay definitely that like yeah. some rando like i get oh. like a lot of people make it like their sibling and i'm like that's kind of random right that's cute that's cute but i don't know if i want that i guess it would be for me i would have jerry post what if i was like i want um regis F- no he's dead oh, he is dead he yeah is dead. sorry not him then um i want someone alive to do it like oh yeah definitely somebody alive she's another dead person accidentally somehow um i want dr phil dr phil i want He'd dr so phil good. to uh to what's it called my will 
Oh, execute? Execute my will. Here's the thing about social media posts when they're dead. Comments on or comments off? Oh, wow. Comments wide open. Yeah. <laughs> comments deeply I just, I, I just even want to know if someone's like, she's a bitch. Yeah, well, bitch. you won't know because you'll be dead. But I want the person who's running my account now to know. I'm like, how would the person, like, if you had multiple stalkers, how would they know if you died? If, like, hmm. you had didn't have your accounts open, do you think our, my neighbor's going to get on our pod right now? By just, like, t- talking incessantly right now? I don't know. Can you hear them? Email Diane. Email Diane. Email I'll Diane. I'll give you their apartment. When Diane dies, she wants her uh, Facebook printed out and put into a museum. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That's a really interesting idea. In the MoMA. In the MoMA. That's she's um, very important. Huh. Chapters? What are they? <sighs> You know, uh, just like oh, all those like generic things, like oh, the like the random TV show she actually like, or like the mm. game she was playing, like casino, whatever. Oh, definitely and, like, like casino catch. And like, here's like a gross screenshot of like probably like grocery store dash. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> deeply Facebook game, deeply Facebook for sure. Um, those games were low key fun though. Like I played some of them in college, and I was like. Not Farmville. There was like a farm, like an alternative Farmville wow, that I played. I don't, Farmville. I don't remember what farm it was called. City. But it's definitely one of those ones where farm you had to like, you could like collect coins if you want lo- once a day when communist. you logged on. Oh. It was called like pet, something with pets. Did you play Neopets? You did, right? Oh, of course. Oh, we'll put some Neopets in there. Sophie slimmer, was huge on Neopets oh, and her so account got dumb. hacked. What? Yep. Hacked. Because, and then she, her account got canceled because she, I think she like, figured out a way to like steal coins oh wow from the money tree or whatever what, yeah what was it It was like a money tree there was some kind of like, community could, like, soup thing oh my god then you could, like buy paint those shitty fu- oh my god those shitty fucking animations yeah you can buy paint you can like go to the shop and like yep. oh my god what a there is actually a current there was something going on with Neopets recently that was that. sort of dramatic we'll that i can't slider we'll put it in the slider because i can't really explain it but it was some sort of like rogue group with the neopets that was like taking over someone posted something and i was like 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 um <laughs> yeah. i don't remember what neopets it was. was sick neopets was fucking the sick. internet used to be a beautiful place yeah now it's filled with trash it's now fine it's, now, now it's, it's filled, filled with, with a little bit of trash but now it's just like i don't know where to look man but now it's like i love the trash but i miss my trash I miss my old garbage. I miss having to search for the trash and be like, okay, I'm going to go through 18 pages of Ebound's world to find the trash Ugh. that works for me. God. Uh, yeah. I mean, the searching that you used to have to do versus, versus like the- Now it finds you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that is so creepy. Like, I know. Wow. I sound like my old mother, but like, it is really creepy. It is. Look at that sleeping bitch over there. Now he's asleep. Tried to now eat he's a done blanket, and now he's fine. Absolutely obliterating the blanket to mm. take a nice nap. Anyway- don't kill you, but the side, the back, what? Yeah, I didn't oh, yeah, see what it. What are talking about? You're bad boy. Oh. Ew, gross sound to make. <laughs> Coming out of my throat. Leaving that in. <laughs> I hate it. I hope. I'm going to make I, it louder. I think the worst thing about life is like those gross little throat sounds that just emit they just from your squeak throat out of there and you never know when it's going to happen. It's always the worst time. It's always like when you're meeting someone for the first time. Oh, you're like, yeah. Uh, my name is Julia. And also, ah. also, like, Eliza, like, you have, like, your voice, like, sounds weird for a minute. You get, like, a frog in your throat and you God. sound like you're from an alternate dimension. Fucking love it. Some things just happen randomly. I think it's all phlegm related. I'm a phlegmy filled sack some days. I'm you're just, a like, Flemington. I'm a Flemington dog. Charles. Um, um, I'm really filled with phlegm constantly. I have to wake up and clear my nose before I can do a thing or you else have I a really can't pot? breathe. No, I just use a use a Kleenex. Old school. What do you do with a neti pot? Just like pour have you never water it? You've never seen a neti pot? I've seen it. I've just never used one. You like pour it in one nostril and it comes out the other nostril and it's supposed to like clear out all of the gook in there. Is that the kind of thing where you have to use like um, distilled water? Yeah, they like, say that. You can't just use tap water. Not that I'm like a lover of tap water or anything. <laughs> I mean, unless you want like heavy metal in your brain, which like maybe you do. I don't think it. I think people do use tap water for sure. And maybe if you no boiled thanks. the water and then let it cool down a bit, definitely don't pour boiling water in your nose. Certainly not. <laughs> I'll probably just get distilled. Yeah. For I my mean, neti pot addiction. People like neti pots. I've used it like once or twice, and it was not for me. No. During the big craze when they first came out, I just clear out my nose with a good old fashioned Kleenex. Okay. 
Or, you know, just steal But I think the they shower. make like neti pots that are more like squeegee bottles. Ew, I don't want that at all. I don't okay. need to suck anything out of my nose. No, Squeegee no. Squeegee bottles? It's, what are you saying? You don't suck. It's still a it's still a flush. You don't suck. But it's not I think it like comes with the water in it already. What about a camera? That up I can your put nose? Up my nose. I'm so pro. Curious. I'm but pro. also scared. But, you know, I bet the kind that goes in your ear you can show up your nose if you're interested. Hmm. Email Diane. My name if is you're both of those doctor. Steven Spielberg. <laughs> if you want to practice on my nose, oh, email Diane. Perfect. It's huge. Um, okay, I okay, keep you're really bad getting off topic, but I put up string lights in the back because oh, uh, the Cute. lights are out again because oh. they just fucking went out. Like they're the, the, the oh my god, please don't kill me, but the lights are out. Oh yeah, um, that's deeply killing you. Yeah, please so don't please, kill, kill her for the podcast. Yeah. Um, but the lights are bad. Out. Boy pod would blow up, but. That sucks. And, and it's like, scary at night. It really does not. I don't like it. You really can't see much in front of you. So I've been putting out like my stupid little battery powered candles in the front. Cute. Oh, yeah, I know. People, I, but it's also kind of to be to the manager like. It's a bit of a fuck you. It's a bit like, of a fuck you. Because this. they're like, someone asked and said like, hey, can we get temporary lighting? Just no answer. And it's all the lights on the exterior. Segment. Yeah. All the like shared lighting is out. And then, so, then the one in the back for me, too. That's so stressful. So I put up the fucking beautiful string lighting, like I'm at a fucking Parisian cafe, so. I mean, as you should. No, it's cute. I mean, but it's also you should leave you. them up. I think I might. Yeah, I why not? I think I'm going to arrange them a little nicer, because this was more of like a, people are coming over, I have to do this quickly. Mm. Um, I don't want it to look like a scary hellhole. Yeah, yeah. Well, hate that. Mm-hmm. When I look out the window, I see black. Black. It's just darkness. Um, not anymore, bitch. Horrible. Yeah. Anyway, what's your bad boy, bitch? I honestly don't even know. Perfect it's week not, I mean, for Zoe. The thing is, it hasn't been like, it as you know, I've had like a busy work week, which has been a fucking nightmare. I had to like do. I mean, you're an event girly, sure, but I had to go to an event, and I'm not an event girly, and it was just like very long days. And when you're used to being a robot to doodle dandy, and then all of a sudden you're working like a full work day out in the world. First of all, I don't know how I ever did it. <laughs> Second of all, it's just like I come home and I'm I'm a zombie of a human. Oh, here's a bad boy. Mm-hmm. Jerry, on one, one of the nights when I came back, it was like 9 p.m. Oh, dear. So late. So Jerry made me late. pizza for dinner, which was really nice. Yummy. Made pizza? <laughs> yeah. Oh, with the pizza stone thingy in the oven? Yep. You guys have a thingy, I forget. Yep. Yummers. Do you have a picture of it? I do. Send it over. We could put it in Slimerama. I always love a little um, homemader. Anyway. And I burned the roof of my mouth. Oh, you almost died. With the str- I got the strings. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, no. Those are, really, those are really the worst. Those are like four alarm. It's like it's bitches. like four alarm, four alarm fire. I literally. hate the strings, though. I do, they're too. They're like gross and they're raw. Yeah. And so then it was like everything I ate kind of hurt, you know? And yeah. I still have like... They're no longer strings, but they're definitely tender. I don't like. I that. have a tender roof, and it makes everything kind of taste irony for the mm-hmm. rest of the week. Yeah, Yucky. there is a slight bloody tinge to everything. I hate that. Yeah, I hate that for you, and I'm sorry. I hate it for me too. So I guess my bad boy would be those a exhausting days mouth. and definitely burning the roof of my mouth. But like, I was so hungry because I got back so late, and I was like, I know, I knew it was too hot. You know, I, I, I it was hap- but it was happening before I could stop it. I mean, I remember like. Back to long days. Yeah. Back when I used to have like long actual office days. But like I realized that I've been like, I've been remote for eight years. I know you, you were before the curve. But I really, 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 really put in my fucking years on transit. So guys, when you're sitting in your cozy little cars, remember that I sat on transit two hours, sometimes in snow when I was living in Canada and it sucked ass. That does suck my ass. My shoes were always wet. Oof. I mean, like, not always, anything, but like... Is in the, there anything the worse than wet, cold shoes? There's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than getting caught in surprise rain, shitty mm. snow, mm. both, stepping in a puddle, Mm-mm. getting splashed by a puddle. I stepping mean, in a puddle, not one of life's greatest joys. No. So now, I'm at home. And it's fine. And it's fine. But, like, if I could walk to the office, I fucking would. If I could take transit to the office once or twice a week, I would do it. Yeah, I, I would do a hybrid, but, like, it was exhausting. It was exhausting. Yeah, I can't believe I used to wake up at like 6.30 and then take, you know, 14 lines to get to work. Yep. Email Diane like, your commute. Please, so we can kill you. Just kidding. So I only have one update. 
Unless well, you have any other bad boys. No, I definitely don't. So it's a brother's qualm update. Oh, no. Not good. <laughs> oh, no. It's Chris Cuomo. Chris, what so, you doing? A former CNN contributor named Angela Rye says that Chris Cuomo put her through an embarrassing and humiliating experience when she posted a bikini clad photo on New Year's Day saying, Happy New Year. And Chris Cuomo commented, <laughs> Happy Great. New Year, Tinsel Crotch. <laughs> oh, when no. she confronted Cuomo what? about his comment, CNN ended her contract. No! So this was before the Cuomo, the big Cuomification ousting. The big Cuomification. And he said Tinsel Crotch? He said Happy New Year, Tinsel Crotch. I'm only laughing because it seems like someone, oh, I'm really into saying toots lately. Uh-huh. Like I always just, I've been calling Carlos it's toots a lot. It's big toots energy. It's a real toots energy. Like me, I'm doing it ironically. This man would do it like very earnestly. Okay. It says when Cuomo responded to a bikini clad photo she posted by saying happy new year tinsel crotch does that mean it was like in the dms or does that mean it was public like on her instagram sounds Unclear. public but right? she's basically claiming that it cost her job at the network when she confronted him which i believe that sucks ass um so happy new year tinsel crotch to you and yours for sure happy new year tinsel crotch is so random i've like i've not i couldn't even i i've never i've never expected more or less from the qualms. That but also it's like a new qualm. expectation at the same time. Tinsel crotch to me is classic qualm. I think so? I feel like Chris was like, I called her tinsel crotch. And Andrew was like, damn, I wish I thought of that. Andrew was like, nice. <laughs> nice, <laughs> Andrew bro. Was like, and you're my literal meatballs bro. Meatballs every tinsel crotch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, meatballs every tin- tinsel crotch. And uh, you know what? Yeah. He loves his daughters. Oh, so true. Yeah. Um, he would never call his daughters Tinsel Crotch, so he understands. Sunday. He has daughters. He has daughters. Um, all right. So let's move on to our bad one of, of the week. Tinsel Crotch is like, it's like, it's not when the worst person you know says something, you know, that, right? It's more like when the worst person you know says something funny. It's like Trump. You know what I mean? It's a bit of a Trump. Like, why'd you have to say, why'd you have to go and be the worst person and also say tinsel crotch like it's, i know i know and it's like why like, who she... am i gonna call tinsel also crotch? that she no got one. fired because he said tinsel crotch oh, is so yeah. annoying like how about this y'all hate Fire women. your own tinsel crotch you really hate women just say it see it in. it's so... just say it everybody you know everybody hates women and like it would just be easier if they admitted it what if we didn't have cn anymore i'd what be fine that? i think it'd be fine i'd too. literally be fine like no skin off my teeth I think it would be literally great, actually. Wow, thread sucks. Gotta say, is it blowing up right now? I'm just I don't know why. I don't understand what their cadence is. I don't know. Why don't like, you silence the thread? I don't know. Wait, what? You're talking about threads like the Instagram? Yeah. Like why am oh, I? Oh, being... I thought you were talking about your text thread with your. No, no, no. I mute that shit all the time. It's like threads is so bad. It's just like I'm, I don't open threads. I never open threads, and then I'll get a notification saying. You know, someone follows you or fucking whatever that like someone posts a new thread. I'm like, these are so it did not take off. No, it's so bad. Whatever. Um, Account everywhere, baby. Fuck you, Mark Zuckerberg. Okay, so let's move on to our bad boy of the week. He's definitely a Mister Florida, your gal. Welcome to a new episode of the Clown Show. Deeply, Um, a deep clown show over here. Um, He's a Mister Governor, your state. State yes. for sure. I mean, there's no denying that that is his elected position. It's Ron DeSantis. I mean, I find it sad when people are just like, Florida sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck. I mean, the the actual place is like really pretty. It, it has some cool. gorgeous wildlife. It does. Um, the Florida Everglades are it's home to a bunch and, of things. interesting animals that mm-hmm. you can't find many other places in the world. It's very interesting ecosystem. Very interesting ecosystem. I think it's like the largest. I'll have to. We can put up put the statistic in the slime. Somebody you want to defend them? Absolutely. I love. But it's like the largest uninterrupted something in the U.S. Like natural landscape in the continental U.S. Probably. Yeah, I I I believe that. Um. So he's a bad person. We're not going to get into all of his bad policies, but I've written down what to me are his most egregiorama 
agree to Ramos. Agree to Ramos. He'd be so delighted to hear that. Um, but first, guess his net worth. Oh shit. Um, twenty five million. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, was um, I so thank God, shocked. no. So he seems like a weird rich guy. He. Fi- DeSantis's filing listed his gubernatorial salary, a book contract, and an associated marketing agreement as his uh, sources of income, totaling between one point two million and seven million. <laughs> Just like such a widespread. Wow. More um, like not wealthy gorilla. Um, okay. So he's pretty much classic, horrible, right wing nut job, deeply disliked individual, running for president in 2024, very clearly not gonna win, uh, because Trump a doodle dandy is gonna win. Um, but it just seems like everyone in the race at this point, it's like really between him and Nikki Haley, it seems, behind Trump. They're just gunning for that VP. I mean, I, it's so grotesque. It's just so embarrassing for It's both really of them. a bunch of weird losers in the mix. But yeah, I mean, looks like it. Um, so I guess we can start with some of the things he's done as governor that are particularly egregious. God, I can't believe it's a fucking election year. I know. Sorry to say. I know. Sorry to remind everybody. No, it sucks. It's really I'm not hard. excited about my life. God, remember 2020? Even that was a different time. I can't believe, again, I feel like I said this like a few weeks ago, but I can't believe we were so uh, just happy Trump didn't win. I mean, I guess. It's just I that, was like, happy Trump didn't win. It's just that was where it began and ended. There was no happiness for Biden. I fucking hate that clown. I know. I hate I hate that clown too, but I like also ugh, we've discussed it. I don't yeah. We we've discussed it to death, trust us. We've discussed it to death. I don't really know like what to do. I don't I don't know if I'm going to vote for him. I f- do feel for Biden. I mean, obviously I'm not voting for Trump or Ron DeSantis, but <laughs> I can't I don't know. I don't know either. <sighs> um anyway, save us. <laughs> Torpedo. So he's passed a lot of legislation in Florida that's really bad. And I like he can't turn Florida bad on his own. Like I think the state uh, legislature is also pretty horrible, obviously. So one thing he did in April is he signed a law um, banning critical race theory in school. It's called the Individual Freedom Law, which prevents educators from teaching certain topics related to race. His whole thing is like, you're making white people feel ba- feel bad oh about themselves. Um, okay, let me just read the quote about what it is. Critical race theory is an interdisciplinary academic field devoted to analyzing how social and political laws are shaped by conceptions of race and ethnicity. It considers racism to be systemic in various laws and rules and not based on individuals' prejudices. He's just basically, all of the, everything he does is like taking the worst Reddit talking points you've ever seen and enacting them into laws. And, you know, he's so like, white men are the most under attack people in the world right now. And he thinks that somehow banning critical race theory from being taught, banning like gender affirming care for trans people, imposing felonies on the people who on the healthcare workers who give gender affirming care to minors like he thinks all of these things are gonna make him popular basically with his base i guess i mean that's the only thing that i can think of but it's so fucking extreme like i know there are people who believe these things obviously but it's just like every single talking point he's just taking it and making it into a law And, like, the critical race theory just felt like another thing. Not like maybe distraction isn't the word, but it just felt like a a thing for them to put all of their focus on as, like, what the woke liberals want us to say, want us to do. Like, this is, like, stick it to the man type of thing, as if the man was, I don't know, AOC or something. (laughs) I'm not sure what makes them feel so much shame about something that doesn't even include them. I mean, like, the only thing that includes people in this is that, sure, they're white. Whatever. I guess like if that's yeah, what his... you feel bad about I don't know I just <laughs> I'm not sure where you're taking it so personally when it wasn't you but you know it, it is the kind of thing people do latch on to and you know yeah he's basically saying that like he's critical right race theory base. is racist against white people shut up agreed that's not possible um and of course he had to give the act a name that like oh yeah it's, it's called like... W O K. K E 
act. That's so embarrassing. No, stop woke act. Shut up. Stop the wrongs to our kids and employees. Shut up up you're He's so such a fucking loser it's like you know what i mean it's like you know the government trying to be cool it that's him i mean why like who is this appealing to i know exactly who it appeals to yeah, but like I mean, white those people don't appeal to me so they're annoying he expanded a law called the don't say gay law um which again puts restrictions on the teaching of human sexuality through high school and requires that schools promote abstinence from sex outside of marriage and promotes monogamous heterosexual relationships. Shut like up. he's so intensely dictating what is being taught in schools, including banning books and stuff like that. It's just it's so it's scary, honestly. Yeah. I mean, he's one of those weird scary Republicans. It's like he has, he's, he's very appealing to people. I mean, Florida he's not is a as very appealing, populated state. Like there are a lot of people that live there. It's a very diverse state. Yeah, and it's so. This is the man in charge of it. And like people think he's like a blue collar guy. Yeah, of course they do. He's like an army dude. Yeah, he's a child of immigrants. I guess also is he's he? a short king. Is he a short king? Yeah. Oh right, he wears lifts. I heard he wears lifts. Um. Yeah, I, I heard he has like eight Italian grandparents or something, and it's like, okay, brag alert. Huge brag So alert. you like pasta. I mean, meatballs every Sunday, indeed. Oh, that's a meatballs every Sunday. Um, Born in Jacksonville. Let me see. I mean, classic. All of his great-grandparents immigrated from southern Italy. There we go. Oh, great-grandparents. <gasps> Be real. Did it just? Yeah. Oh. Mid convo about wrong DeSantis. What, what are the, the chances? Fuck? Hold on. Why didn't mine go off? You're not loved. Okay. And the don't say gay law is what sort of initiated his big argument with the Disney Corporation. Oh, right. So basically, Disney was like spoke out against his don't say gay bill, which was intended to restrict discussions of gender and sexuality in the classroom. And then DeSantis went after Disney World by stripping it of its special tax district status, which had essentially given Disney, um, made it like a self-governed enclave. And it's been that way for like 50 years. And then Disney sued Ron DeSantis. I mean, the only time. said, <laughs> alleged that he was waging a campaign of government retaliation against Disney, which is true. Yeah, they, you know. It's like. You know, maybe the only time I've actually been on Disney's side for something. I know. Like, it's not like Disney's, like, the, uh... And they're, what am I trying to they're say? like, what is it, CEO is such a... Is he a ding dong? Oh, yeah, he is a ding dong. He says some rude shit. But um, they were right about this one thing, and The it's one nice. thing they were right about. I like... Apparently, the Disney adults went really hard on Ron DeSantis on the internet. I bet. And that's fun for me. I mean, you know, think about. they got to pour their energy into something when they're not at Disney. Because, you know, when they go on hard on something, they go very hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, they go hard. They go fucking hard. Um, and also, you know, strict bathroom bills, stuff about drag shows, like all of those like classic Republican talking points that don't really like do anything except hurt marginalized people. That's Ron DeSantis's ba whole bag. Oh, he loves it. That's kind of, yeah, he's cornered the market. Yep. I don't get it. I don't know, you know. Um, I get it and I don't. The Florida, under his reign, the Florida legislator approved a bill that bars most abortions after six weeks, with some exceptions for rape, incest, and the life of the mother. In the cases of rape or incest, a person would have to provide documentation, like a restraining order. In order to obtain an abortion up to 15 weeks. Sure. Let me like put it on my to-do list. I mean, it's just so like. It really. Yeah. It just makes things harder for people to get it. It's an obvious uh, roadblock yeah, to just... make people just not do things and not report it. And, you know, I had a theory that the state. Did I already. Did, did I already talk about my conspiracy, Connie, that I think that like <laughs> in America our birth rate is so low yeah there's nothing happening for it and i think the reason that we restrict <laughs> like women and abortions because like we just will not give people money to have kids 
Mm. We will not give incentive to have children. We can't afford it or we're too cheap or we're pieces of shit. I don't know which one it is, but I think that there are other places in the world that are giving and offering incentives to people to have children because there is incentive for young people. You need young people. Sure. And I we're guess. not having it. But like, I think here they're just restriction, <laughs> like Birth restricting rate is There are less people having kids now because like millennials don't have money what are i mean like it's, i do think it's a conspiracy that we would literally have abortion now do not have abortion i i hear places. your conspiracy connie i feel like it's all just such distractions like all of it, it is, is part so, distraction too yeah all of it is so like not relevant to running the country in a way like obviously i feel like people should get abortions if they want them um but the extreme focus on this is just to like rile up the worst people and keep the focus away from war and economics and stuff that we actually want our government doing. But you also do need young people. You literally need yeah, young sure. people. Yeah, sure. To fight the wars and stuff. Oh, well, the wars and infrastructure. Yeah. And like build when our things highways. Happen. Yeah. I don't know. The world is a dumbass place. I mean, the fact that we like are here as a fucking miracle to begin with but then you're just like this fucker exists yeah and he's fighting with disney and here's another sudden, like... interesting thing related to the restraining order thing mm. so he signed a law that lowered the number of jurors required to recommend the death penalty from 12 jurors to eight and he also allowed child rapists to be sentenced the death penalty so the child rapist thing conflicts with the 2008 Supreme Court decision that prohibited the use of the death penalty in child rape cases when the child survives on the basis that it would dis disincentivize victims to come forward because then their abuser could be like, if you come forward, the state's going to kill me. So it may prevent people from coming forward if child sex abusers are allowed to be killed by the death penalty and DeSantis has said he'll take it all the way up to the Supreme Court oh, and we know that the Supreme Court has no problem reversing those decisions we have so many other fucking things to worry about I know I don't understand the fixation on things that no one cares about except to make their base happy except to just make sure that they have their little voters that vote for them or give them money to protect their public interest and it's just like what a fucking nightmare game. Right. Like, obviously, there's so much money tied up in this, I'm sure. Like, I don't know who is lobbying for him for what. Like, the pro-life people, I'm sure, are giving him money. The NRA, I'm sure they're giving him money. Um, whatever fucking Christian book that he wants to give to schools to teach fake science are probably giving him money. I mean, I'm conspiracy conning all over the pod. So that's just sort of an over overview of all of his horrible policies. Um, and then this last thing isn't even one of his horrible policies. It's just an interesting thing. There's no video of the incident, but the Daily Beast reported that he ate chocolate pudding <laughs> with three fingers during a private plane flight in 2019. <laughs> I have no pictures. I wish there were pi I pictures. Just, like, I just want to see it. He also like... Use the fucking um, top, if anything. So true. The metal like top. Hello. Although I would not want to see him lick that lid either. I don't want to see him lick anything. But like honestly. fingering your pudding. <laughs> My no. name is absolutely Ron DeSantis. It's absolutely. It is Ron to yeah. a T. That's... He fingers his pudding a little too much. A little too much if you ask me. And I'm not one to. Fingering I would never finger pudding shame mm -mm. except for Ron DeSantis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but like if you eat your pudding with if you eat pudding with your fingers, you should not be determining what's taught in schools. Yeah. And Let's I don't think, that. like, anyone other than professional educators should be. Yeah. And me. Zoe's right. Teach science. Yeah. Let's teach Zoe science. Teach, teach science. math. Teach critical race theory. Let people have whatever fucking gender they want. Let them be gay. Yeah. I mean, all of those things, obviously. And um, eat pudding with a spoon. Yeah. Like a normal person. That's like, we need, to have, we need to have pudding eating lessons in our schools, Ron. To prevent people from, like you. He's just a weird guy on top of it. <laughs> he has like a weird smile. There was like this whole theory that he didn't never learned how to smile. Oh, that's so weird. There was this whole thing about like, I think he had a stint as like a professor or something. 
horrible to think and, about. And like he was hanging out at like high school parties and stuff with mm. high schoolers, mm. like a real weirdo. Like Ugh. he's not an, he's a he's he's had a weird pet. He was uh, stationed at Guantanamo Bay and like volunteered for it. He doesn't have a good approval rating. Like people don't like him. People because like Trump's policies. I guess they're pretty popular amongst the worst people. Hollywood tours, worst thing to see. When although, out of here, by the way. Although abortion, banning abortion essentially is not popular at all. But he, Ron DeSantis has no charisma. Yeah, he's you know when <laughs> he's not funny at all. Like no, Trump. <laughs> some people really just put themselves in that place anyway when they don't have any charisma, and you're like. Maybe step, you know, sit down, step this one out, or like get, you know, some but coaching like, on it, or be, would, accept the coaching given I to you. I could see Trump choosing him because, like, Trump could walk all over him. Oh, he's yeah. such a fucking cuck. He kind of is. He's such a cuck. I'm sorry. Trump would dominate him in the bedroom, probably. Oh, I mean, remember Trump and Pence that old relationship? Yeah, I'm sure they don't speak. I can't no, imagine. There's no way they sense. speak. I mean, Pence like testified against him and all of the fucking. That January really, 6th that stuff. whole, we kind of knew that was how it would all go down. I don't think, I mean, Ron would VP under him for sure. There's oh, no yeah. way he would not, yeah. Yeah. but he would be absolutely miserable. He would gray in seconds. I'd love to see it. Yeah. It would be fun. I mean, it's fun to see I these mean, people. I mean, and then like he'd be out of Florida. He'd be no longer governor of Florida if he were VP. Stay the fuck out of there. So. I'd like to see a, 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 a bit of a blue tide. Head. I mean, not that I fucking even like the Democrats for God's sakes, but like. A blue wave. Anything different there. The yeah, it would be Ron nice if... The is that he needs a personality, need a personality transplant. transplant. And those he are does. Not those are yet available. Not even available. He does need a personality transplant, but if he had a personality transplant, he could probably win the election. Those are not yet available. But they're not yet available, so we have nothing to worry about. So, um, better wait so for that, So fuck baby. you, Ronda St. Um, that was just like, that was just the tip of his horribleness. I don't want to act like it was an all-inclusive uh Yeah, those are just his policies, rundown, mostly. But like... He just is the fucking pits. He's the pits, and he's really appealing to a lot of people. It stinks. It stinks. I hate it when they're appealing on top of it. Not to me, but you look at him, and you're like, people are going to fucking like this guy. I know, when he wears like his fucking cowboy boots with the lifts in them. Get the hell out of here. Uh, get the fuck out of here. But I also, hate politicians. He's just like, he's so smug. Oh, Politicians, so smug. you're so smug. You got, do you go to smug class? He has deep... Like I'm gonna go on a seven day cruise vibe. Oh, he's God. gonna go to a cruise to the Caribbean, easy. He, wow, I wish he'd go on that nine month cruise. Same, and he's gonna tan so leathery. Oh dear, my name is wrong to sanctimonious. My name is wrong to sanctimonious. <laughs> All right, let's and something is so messed up. Something is so messed up. Let's shut the door on him. Yeah, shut the door on your dick. Shut the door, baby. Don't say a word. They met at Mar-a-Lago. Oh god! I'm yeah. guessing they probably even like I think had a full them. conversation. He had no idea who he was. Though. Oh, Mark did not know who Ron DeSantis was. Yeah, yeah, probably. Do you think Ron? They neither of them knew who the other person was. They were just totally. Yeah. They're like, I'm Mark. I'm a musician. Oh, I'm Ron. I work in politics. <laughs> oh, I'm Ron. I'm the governor of Florida. So and he's just like, oh yeah. So like, you handle water or something? And he's like, I'm the governor of Sheree. So. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's like I'm the governor of Sugar Ray all day off the chutes in our hearts. Indeed. And um, have you heard of Yachty Rock? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, then Ron went home. He listened to Yachty Rock and he was like, you know what? This slaps. Absolutely. Um, okay. Who is your good boy this week? My silk pillows. Your silk pillows? Yeah. Okay. Classy biash. Oh, is your hair? Are you doing that because your hair looks good? Well, A, it's like good for your hair or whatever. It is. Yeah. Didn't even realize that. I'm sure TikTok knows all about it. Yeah, TikTok told me I'm that. I'm like not as into TikTok as anybody on earth, and I just don't know why I can't focus on it. Um, I, I think can't. that's fine, and you don't need to force it. Okay. I won't force it, because I can't. Don't force it. Um, but I'm sure TikTok already knew about this a while ago. But yeah, no. Silk pillow, baby. My hair... Like, I used to just have to put my hair up, and then it doesn't matter. I either sweat too much. Wow, mm. this sounds like an infomercial. <laughs> Or um, I'm a real sweaty bitch. I don't okay, get it. Good to know. I don't know why I'm so warm at night, but I am. Okay. But now with the silk pillows, I literally, like, I'll go to bed and my hair looks the exact same. Oh, like when I wake nice. up, it's kind of nice. It's weird. And I don't they're know cooling. Happening. They're cooling too. So I'm like, do I need mm. silk sheets or is that so? Whoa, that's luxurious. It's a little also. horny. That's very horny. It's like a little too horny though. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, like I'm 36 with silk sheets. Is that the vibe I want to give? That's a deep horn dog. That's, that's deep, very deep. That's Hugh Hefner all over it. I don't know. It's like I want wicking sheets, but do I want to be horny about it? Email Diane. I don't think you can have silk sheets and not be horny about it. It's hard. It's hard. What can I, I don't have say? a good boy. I know I said that well, about bad boys too, and then I well, realized I burned in my mouth. Week. But I don't have a good boy. So he burnt her mouth, and she'll never recover. I'll, is it still not recovered though? Do you want a piece of ice? It's a little like tingly, maybe no. a little raw, maybe slightly like senseless up Bam! there. Bam! Egg in the bottle. Yeah. Bam! Burn mouth helps. in a burn mouth in, in a, a bottle. Fucking hole. Burn mouth in the hole. Um. All right. Let's do TV talk. Okay, but I definitely have to pee first. All right. But I will hit the TV talk before TV and talk. when I get back. <clears throat> TV talk. You said you had a TV talk that you didn't tell me last week. Yeah, I forgot to. There's a new season of Finding Your Roots. Oh, do tell who was on the first episode. Um, well, it's weird because they had a weird drop. I don't know why they do this. Like PBS, what's going on down there? Is there hey, like PBS, are you listening? Do you want to buy a Bad Boy Pod for three dollars? Because that's all the money you oh, have. PBS, yeah, we're open. Um, honestly, I'd be into it, but. It's like they'll, this. I swear this happened last season too. They dropped the first episode, which it was kind of underwhelming. It was Alanis Morissette, oh. who seemed like she needed to be coached a bit. Um, like we needed some better reactions out of her. Okay, and deeply random. Who was the other person on that? Sierra. Oh, oh, that was a fun episode actually for her. Um, so Sierra and Alanis Morissette, and then so random. Episode two was Valerie Bertinelli and Brendan Fraser. And then episode three was LeVar Burton and Wes Studi. And, but the third episode came out before the second episode. I don't know why they did this. They like dropped the first episode and then also the third episode and then the second episode. And they did that last season too. And I was like, hmm. what's going on down there at PBS? What, they have a this? ordering issue, I guess. I guess. I don't know. If they think I don't notice, but it's all I notice. My TV talk? There's a show, I don't know what it's actually on. Oh, KCET. It's like Los, Ange Los Angeles Public Te Television, Got I think. Um, but all the episodes are on YouTube. It's called Lost LA. Have you oh, ever seen it? Oh, yes. That's on PBS too. Oh, it's on that PBS. Was my other, that was my other TV talk. What? Holy shit. Oh my God. Were you watching the tuberculosis episode? No, we watched one about uh, bootleggers oh, and like the underground tunnels. I love the Lost LA shit. And, I didn't realize um, it was on it on a, on the public that, uh, public access. I think Ooh, it wah, is. Wah, wah, wah. Can't say um, it. Yeah, we watched that one. We watched one about the red car. Cool. Uh, Wait, that's so funny. No, you should watch the tuberculosis one. That okay. one's pretty interesting, actually. Okay. Wa we watched one about like how There's a little... fast food was invented in LA, basically. Oh, shit. That I was a really interesting one. one. They talked about like, because the original McDonald's was in like Downey. That I heard. And the original Taco Bell was in like, I don't remember where exactly, but like so outside of LA. Hmm. Um, and Carl's Jr. was invented here. Huh. So I didn't realize that either. Very interesting. I do like the Lost LA series. It's a lot. What I like the, the guy. Other one I watched? He's not. He's not overwhelming as a host. Mm, PBS is like that though. That's yeah, good. I know. They they love a neutral host. Hold on, let me find that other one I liked because now I'm gonna lose it. Lost LA. It's very neutral. The you got to see the tuberculosis one though. Um, I was surprised and not really surprised. I guess I didn't actually realize our history with it, but. Very interesting. Oh, I also didn't realize that Little Tokyo used to be a little Filipino town. Oh, because now we have historic Filipino town. Hi right, which is yeah. technically in Westlake. But it's like Westlake Echo Park. Technically, adjacent. right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the one I wanted to watch with Carlos was the Tiki. Uh, oh, right, because he loves Tiki bars. Fucking little Tiki um, boy. I did not watch that one. Oh, the hiking trailblazers was a good one, too. Fast food, I didn't see one. Fast food is good. Yeah. You should watch that one. Curious. Oh, the German exiles I want to see too. I'm very curious about that. Prehistoric landscapes was interesting. Oh yeah, we didn't watch that one. Okay, maybe I'm just a. Well, we like watched all of the opposite ones. I know. I, it's just like <laughs> I was like looking at the title, so I was like, mm, Jerry wanted to watch prehistoric landscapes, and I was like, There's um, a lot of seasons. Let's though. do bootleggers. Yeah, there are. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I wanted to go. Yeah, that's literally. I've been watching it all week. I don't know why. I'm, they must just We've, have a new season maybe or something. They, maybe that's probably why. That's Did funny. you see it on YouTube? No, on oh. PBS. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, there's a new season of Drag Race. Oh, out. maybe I should watch now that we have cable again. Oh, yeah, you should. Da -da 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 -da. It's on MTV. And oh, what? 
Yeah. What? Yep. Oh. And there is like an Abusy Susie on the season. Oh, no. And in previous times when there have been an Abusy Susie, they've like edited them out, but not this time. She is front and center. Wow. We're ruthless now. I know. Her name on her name is Plain Jane. And Yikes. she, I we'll appara- have to do them next week. Eh. No. She allegedly like shoved her hands down the pants of and grabbed the genitals of somebody at one of her shows. Okay. Well, yikes. Still a yikes. So, so don't go around doing that. Agreed. Um, so there's Drag Race. Um, ah, we could talk about Gypsy Rose, but I don't want to get canceled for my opinions. Oh, no. <laughs> I have well, con- I have I have hot takes on Gypsy Rose. Can, I'm no, realizing. Do you want, are you sure you don't want to talk about it? Because <laughs> you've been. <laughs> you've been... <laughs> I've been on one a little bit. Yeah, I, mean... I I don't trust her. I <laughs> I was in and out of sleep <laughs> texting you this morning. And like, that's kind of why you probably thought I was awake at 730. <laughs> I was like texting with her and also going back to sleep and then. <laughs> responding like I just hours later I just don't trust her I feel icky vibes and I it's sympathize fine. for the fact that she was abused and that's horrible and it should never have happened and her upbringing was trash and you know who else has bad upbringings most serial killers and that's how mm-hmm. I and I don't feel and I don't feel bad for them is there I mean this is like a question for serial killer reddit but is there literally a serial killer that does not have some kind of weird or terrible upbringing. I, I think, mean, it, I mean, maybe not all of them, but like a lot of them experience abuse. I think it's pretty common. Can't imagine it. Doesn't and come I just, from I just feel like she's manipulating all of us, and we're all falling for it. I mean, she was certainly raised by Dee Dee. She was certainly raised by Dee Dee. She was certainly raised to. Uh, I did get further in the episodes and have a moment where I where I realized that the exact reason he probably murdered her, her mother was so they could be together. And that's probably what she was telling him. Yeah. And I don't think she fully believes that. But I also, you know, and then, I mean, it really, it really cemented it for me. That was the moment. I just feel like, I mean, shout out to her lawyer. He did that. Like she got off in eight years. That's wild that's pretty wild. um i mean you were f- severely abused by your mother and i don't necessarily think that she should be spending her life behind bars or anything sure. like that like i don't feel that way i just don't feel like giving her this fame like come on the view come on good morning america like do the podcast circuit i that mean it's an feel obvious good to me either. it's it's icky but it's an obvious next step i mean especially in the states like this is what we do now and what's her um we did her too remember when we kind of believed her after (laughs) casey oh casey anthony was she in prison was she not Um, in prison for a while no she never went to prison but she was kind of like a disgrace hiding though yeah disgraced mommy but like you know if gypsy was in hiding for a decade and then came out and did a documentary that would be a very different thing than her doing a documentary of her last however many months in prison i don't think and, it would have been any other, i mean it wouldn't have gone any other way than this and it seems like you know at the end of the documentary it was like to be continued so it seems like the documentary crew is going to be following her in her first year outside of prison i'm going to watch it i won't lie yeah. but I just feel like Dee Dee raised her in a way to prioritize fame and attention and like all of that over everything else. And I think we are seeing it play out and it's not Gypsy's fault. But I do think like how she was raised is dictating her steps in life. And I don't think it's great. Yeah. I mean, she was raised by someone who was obviously extremely troubled and had a, I mean, is Munchausen a disease? Yeah. So, oh, yeah, she was, dis- she, she had a disease Yeah, and she, had- she literally needed attention from, you know, making her child sick. She had severe mental illness for yeah. sure. And nature or nurture, who knows, but like Gypsy inherited that and then was abused on top of it. And so I just feel like this is bad. I don't think she's, I mean, you know, I'm not in the prediction world, but I don't know if she's going to do another violent crime, but I wouldn't be surprised if she did like a fraud or two. Yeah. And I don't think that Nicholas yeah. would have murdered someone had he been left to his own devices just in his own life. Yeah, His lawyer needs to be fired because how did Gypsy get 10 years and eligible for parole after eight? And he's 
got life in prison without the possibility of parole. Like, what am I missing other than the fact that she took a deal and maybe he didn't? I mean, or is, unless he did take a deal to avoid the death penalty. It is very manipulative. But like, again, you know, I don't trust her next boyfriend either. You know, or this. I the, mean, are they married husband. yet? Husband. Yeah, they're is married. Husband for sure. Because I mean, all of it. A from like having to marry someone in order to live with them in this situation. There's an imbalance. Yeah, there's an imbalance. Yeah, I think that people that get into relationships with people who are already in prison predict that they will be looking for that kind of power imbalance and that's what they're looking for. I feel yeah. like they're vultures. Yeah. I feel like they're looking for someone to abuse. Yeah. So I think she's just getting into the arms of another abuser. I Damn. think that way. See, that's a hot take. I think that you're not wrong. I think that that's there all is... all love after lockup honestly is. It's always that. It's always that. And to a store, like to an extent, 90 Day Fiance too. Yeah. I can it's say true. that. It's true because there is there is just a very clear power imbalance between the two people and she's at coming into the real world having no experience at 31 or however old I she is believe it under her mom's thumb and then in jail it's like dude i don't know the fame of it all is really stressing me out yeah it I feels mean, like the like... nine month cruise where i'm just like something's gonna happen and like we're all complicit yeah, I mean, I'm following it because I was, I've was i always, it's always been curious about the story. Like, yeah. it's, this is the, this, well, they said in the documentary, the only known case where the Munchausen survivor or victim the, has killed their the abuser. perpetrator. Yeah. And it's like, wow, that's interesting. It is interesting. And like, I do find it to be fascinating and I feel really bad for her and all yeah. that stuff. I just feel like this is so not it. I just feel like so... I don't trust her. I don't think she's like a trustworthy storyteller of what happened because she was manipulated and lied to her whole life. She was taught to lie. How yeah. could she not be lying now? Anyway, don't cancel me. No, but I mean, I think that she's downplaying a lot of, you know, stuff that happened to her and also, you know, downplaying the fact that she has not had a normal life at all and she's totally overriding that and making it even weirder. Yeah. And that's apparent, but like people do that all the time just it's because true. they want to, A, you know, clear their name, get recognition. Maybe she's poisoned by, you know, Dee Dee truly um, manipulating her into manipulating other people into yeah. becoming a manipulation machine. Right. And it's like, it's sad. I think, I think she is. And I, I, I don't think any of it is her fault, but mm -hmm. I just feel like you got to take is accountability how, at some this point. This is how bad people are made yeah i mean like what's next and i'm not saying she's a bad person i'm just saying like if you take all the puzzle pieces and put them together i would not be surprised if a bad person was made yeah statistically I, mean, I just don't I, the next step that she's taking is literally getting married which is never a good step for anyone yeah i mean cool. like it's wild getting married to fix anything except so you can you know See, i just think it's live with someone horribly. it's just gonna it's already horrible. like i feel like she's going to cheat on him and then he's gonna lose his mind that's my predict i mean prediction polly well i i'll give you one better she won't even have any friends and she won't allow be allowed to be have oh, any you, friends so you think he's gonna be the yeah i think he's going to be you know well why do you need other, other he's people gonna be when the controlling me claude he's gonna be controlling claude i he's think gonna, she's gonna be cheating i think she's gonna be the well it's gonna drive her to cheat floozy on the loose <laughs> she's gonna be floozy on the loose because she's gonna be driven to cheat because of his clutches Okay. Because that's what she's used to. She is. She had to act out and literally kill her mother because she's been controlled her whole life. Right. I'm a therapist. You are. You are. I have disclaimer, and I am she, not. And I do think it's... A, <laughs> These are like, all my own theories. I think the way she talks about like how she was pursued in prison by all of these men, all of the letters she got by men, it's very evident that he has a jealous streak based on what was shown in the documentary. And I think she's going to get a lot of attention now that she's out. On Instagram, on TikTok, posting. I just think it's going to be bad for both of their psyches, and I just don't see it. He already got fired from, oh, yeah. like, one position because... He was in a relationship with her. Yeah. What does he do again? He's a teacher. So, and what it, what is, 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 is he still a teacher? Yeah. So then, how are... They don't give a shit? I mean, I mean, it's she fine, her time. but at the She's... same, it's like, what's the... 
who are you teaching for that doesn't care all of a sudden? Like, I guess the, would he you said in... that the first school he taught at was a Christian school. Oh, so they care more. I, mean, I, I don't guess. Know. I mean, like, I don't give a shit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't feel good about it. The whole situation is so icky to me. And I feel like her obsession with fame is Dee Dee's fault. And it's bad. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, and Dee Dee, we're always it's like, there's some allegations that she makes in the doc where she says that she was abused by her grandpa. And like, I've always been wondering what the like, why, how did Dee Dee get the way she got? And like, you know, if she's alleging that Dee Dee's father is a bit of a molester, yeah, then maybe that's it. Would it would again? Maybe that's, that's how what it is. that's how abusers are made. That's it's how just, bad people are made. It's just a cycle, baby. It's a cycle, baby. And I, if you are obsessed with Gypsy Rose, I'm sorry. Uh, don't cancel me. I just feel weird about the whole thing. And but also, like Gypsy Rose's grandpa. How are you literally going to say my grandchild came on to me? Psychotic. That's literally what he said. Psychotic. Gross. Gross. I think that she would not lie about the abuse. Obviously, I'm going to believe that and if her you... grandfather no. was a perverama. Yeah. yeah. The only situation where I think that grandpa could be telling the truth is if Dee Dee seeded in Gypsy's sure. head that she was abused by her grandfather. But I doubt, I don't feel like, I don't, I don't see why Gypsy wouldn't be on it. I like, I that that I believe that. I believe it too. I I wouldn't be surprised if Gypsy lied about other things, but that I believe. Yeah, I do believe that story actually. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. I mean, I have no reason not to and yeah, I don't know. And maybe like if that did happen to Dee Dee as well and then it happened to Gypsy, the uh controlling like not letting her out of her sights. So maybe there was like guilt involved with that. Who knows? Oh, that's honestly interesting. I also forgot that like Dee Dee was way older than um, Gypsy's mom. Oh, Gypsy's Or sorry, dad. Gypsy's dad. What am I saying? Her hot dad. Her hot dolf. dad. <laughs> wow. Zoe wants to definitely fuck Gypsy's dad. I want to fuck Gypsy's dad and her cousin. It's fine. She wants to be reason. part of the family. Yeah, I want to be part of the family. It's let fine. me Let me join. It's normal. Anyway... <sighs> That's my Gypsy Rose thoughts. Um, oh, but yeah, he was 17 and she was like 23 or 4 or something. Mm. And I think she had lied about her age. Oh, right. She did lie. He did say that. Oh, she's been lying about ages forever. What is with oh, like true. some people and lying about It's like, why? I don't know. Just be so honest. Weird. But yeah, I hope that nothing goes horribly wrong. I hope that she does her press tour. She keeps doing the documentary. She has a kid. It, it seems like that's what she wants. She gets a normal job. She lives her life. I would love that for her. I just feel very weird about it all. I just wanted her to live with her stepmom and dad. Yeah, same. Sure. I feel weird about it all, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. So whatever. Email so Diana at like dot com. You're if bad you like on the it. Block. If you like it, uh, shop that bad dot com for a t shirt. If you're Gypsy Rose, we would love to interview you. Actually, Gypsy Rose, we would do a perfect interview. Oh I swear yeah, to God. I, we'd grill her to bits. Um. <laughs> Really a bit. Follow us at Bad Boy Podcast. Mm. Leave us a five star review on Apple Podcast. You might get a letter from Diane. She loves to write. She loves to write She's to Gypsy Rose in prison. And that's it. Um, don't cancel me. <laughs> I feel for her because she's a victim. Okay, just saying. she is a victim. Overall, she is a victim. she's a victim. Overall, it really she's a victim. Fucking sucks. Overall, she's a victim. It really fucking sucks. But also, mm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about how this is going. I don't like. You got it. one life to live, and honestly, if I had one life. I guess I'd be trying to get out of prison as fast as I could. And you know what? Good for her. I don't think prison's the right place for her. Obviously, I don't think prison is the right place for anybody. I don't think prison is good. I just feel weird. I do, the whole thing doesn't feel right. Doesn't that's feel it. right. That's, what, that's all I was going to say. That's yeah. all I was going to say. And you know what? Uh, I just hope something happens and that dude just like disappears. And not in like a creepy way. Ryan. Ryan. I just don't like Ryan. I think there's something amiss. <laughs> I think there's something weird with him. I think that her stepmom agrees with you. Thank you. I want to... Listen, if you're Gypsy Rose's stepmom... Yeah, and I am. Please talk to us. Okay, perfect. Because we have things that we think. And she, I feel like she would agree with us. She's the only person that is thinking in that entire doc. I swear to God. I agree. Whatever. Anyway, she's perfect. Everyone else sucks. My name is Diane. <laughs> Brought to you by Lady Parts.